Effect of Knowledge in Knowledge Economy Knowledge Economy has the following impact on Knowledge Economy. Knowledge in Knowledge Economy proves to be non revelaries because knowledge attempts to be public good. Further, when discovered, knowledge made available to public. There is a possibility of sharing the same by more users at zero marginal cost. At the same time, the knowledge creators find it difficult to prevent other, other from using it however. Intellectual property protection measures such as trade secrets protection Patents, copyrights and trademarks help them to an extent. Knowledge economy experience tacit knowledge largely then explicit knowledge. But tacit knowledge is a knowledge obtained from experience while explicit knowledge obtained through from educational and proper training. Knowledge Economy Characteristics Knowledge Economy has several characteristics feature to distinguish itself from traditional economy and they are as follows. Knowledge is the main resource of knowledge economy and the economics dealt by knowledge economy is that of abundance. Knowledge economy considers the world as global village for using virtual teams and appropriate technology. Virtual organizations is this results in performance of faster business operations. It is difficult to apply legal controls, tax, regulation and other national barriers because in knowledge economy the business are global in nature. In knowledge economy the leak of knowledge and information is highly unvaluable. In knowledge economy, the products produced and developed using knowledge entity fixed and premium price. Then the products produced and developed in traditional economy. In knowledge economy is the value of price of the products highly dependent on context and situation because the same knowledge has different values to different people at different times. Knowledge economy often encourage down sign and it is considered positive because of its cost cutting measures. So in the knowledge economy human capital is a key component. Few organization have started to report human competency level in the annual reports. Knowledge is a strategic asset. Knowledge management is the management of knowledge as a strategic asset and focus on encouraging the sharing of knowledge. It comprises of strategic and practice used and organization to identify, create 
represent, distribute and enable adoption of insight and experience. Embedded in individuals or embedded in organization process of practice. But it is curriculum includes courses helpful in the field of business administration, information system, management and information science. In recent time, knowledge management has broadened its research in the field of information and media, computer science, public health and public policy. Knowledge management concept is used by various organizations as a part of their business strategy. Information, technology or human resource management department with the advices and strategy by several consulting companies. Knowledge management efforts basically focus on organizational objectives such as improved performance, competitive advantage, innovation, the sharing of lesson, learned integration and continuous improvement of the organization. Knowledge management effort include on the job discussion, formal apprenticeship discussion forms, corporate libraries, professional trainings and mentoring programs to further enhance these efforts, technologies such as knowledge basis. Expert system, knowledge expertise, group discussion, support systems, entrance and computer supported cooperative work have been introduced. Strategies involved in knowledge management include actively managing knowledge, rewards, after action reviews, competence management and many more knowledge management programs can yield impressive benefits to individuals and organization. If they are powerful, purposeful, concrete and action oriented, oriented factors affecting knowledge economy. The following factors affect knowledge economy largely and often referred to as key drivers of knowledge economy. Intellectual capital, information and communication technology, new economics of information and globalization. In knowledge economy, intellectual capital is an important factor because Intellectual capital is an organizational source of competitive advantage. Organization must learn to recognize changes in intellectual capital and only then organizations shall be able to force themselves to be knowledge driven. Intellectual capital of an organization repairs to the employee's knowledge brain power. Technical knows how process and their ability to improve them constituently. Information and communication technology exhibits workforce creative and potential knowledge. They are the best regarded as knowledge. Creation facilitate 
in the innovative societies for the information and communication technology are the tools for generation creativity and knowledge embedded in workforce wealth generation is more using information and communication technology that supports the growth of overall economy compared to manufacturing sectors effort on wealth generation economic shift the present times business environment is clearly able to experience the economic shift from industrial economy to knowledge economy industry economy focus is on producing commercial product knowledge economy concentrate on service and expertise this shift from industry economy to knowledge economy however has increased the complexity of work activities of expertise knowledge relating to different works or sources for knowledge economy as increased the work activities in knowledge economy accomplishing common work goals understanding the concern for building strong interpersonal relationship with other and collaborating with work colleges customer and others stockholders in other organization through online network work emails and face to face meeting knowledge economy implication knowledge economy has several implications to local and national government policy makers intellectual agency and institutions concerned with growth and development of business concerned with knowledge creation implication to policy makers entrepreneurs under knowledge economy to encourage knowledge based industries with incentives and rewards economic development policy must focus on infrastructure towards sustaining knowledge enhancement development policy must include efficient regulatory measures and taxation system for information and knowledge trading at the international level to frame economic policies in such a way of facilitate collaborations stimulating market development framing strict policy measures for preventing information and knowledge frauds and thieves a wide range of policy to support knowledge based industries for removing regional imbalances policy frame to recognize and support local talent in order to make them get into knowledge based industries and prevent brain drain policy to promote research and development activities and policy to support for promoting education and training towards taking the challenges of knowledge economy designing and developing new scheme to enhance corporate performance measures based on knowledge implication 
to business creating awareness about the significance of knowledge to the business organization to the bottom line listening and designing and developing new schemes to enhance corporate performance measures based on knowledge establishing new organizational structure for systematically improving learning process and knowledge to should for changing global environment Interest, installing a technological infrastructure to enhance knowledge creation and sharing such as installing an intranet and the internet for knowledge shares sharing throughout the company on a global basis facilitating organization to create knowledge management programs and appointing chief knowledge of officers cko encouraging organization wide knowledge dissemination through effective internet and intranet information recognizing human contribution to knowledge basic of knowledge management the formulation of knowledge goals in the starting point of knowledge management on an individual as well as on an organization level the process of knowledge evaluation can be seen as the end of the knowledge management process there is a feedback loop from evaluation to goals in that the result of the evaluation may be from the goals in that the result of the evaluation may lead to changes in the knowledge goals a wide range of possible task and process are relevant between goal setting and evaluation this can be grouped into four kinds of process that are closely connected and interactive knowledge representation knowledge communication use of knowledge and development of knowledge these categories describe the knowledge management process on the individual as well as on an organization level knowledge goals the formulation and the identification of knowledge goals is necessary to provide the initial direction for the knowledge management activities carefully planned knowledge management process are the basis of knowledge goals on an individual as well as on an organization level evaluation evaluation can be seen as the final stage of the four knowledge management process on both an individual as well as on organization level it is necessary in evaluation to estimate if the knowledge goals have been reached within this context knowledge representation knowledge representation describes the process of knowledge identification preparation documentation and actualization the main goal of this category is to transform knowledge into a format which enhances the distribution 
and exchange of knowledge knowledge communication in knowledge communication process are combined which concern the distribution of information and knowledge the meditation of knowledge knowledge sharing and the co construction of knowledge as well as knowledge based corporations this activities necessity two or more people communicating directly indirectly face to face or in a virtual environment development of knowledge the development of knowledge includes not only process of external knowledge programment through cooperative effort consultants new contract etc or the creation of specific knowledge resource like research and development department the formation of personal and technical uh, knowledge networks are also part of the development of knowledge use of knowledge use of knowledge focus on the de facto transformation of knowledge to products and services this category is of specific special interest because it saw the effectiveness of the preceding actions in the range of the categories such as knowledge representation knowledge communication and development knowledge development knowledge development